Hi, I'm Simone from Core Strength Pilates. Pilates is suitable for anyone and everyone because all the exercises are completely adaptable. During your pregnancy, your body will change. Your workout needs to change along with you. I have with me here Alicia. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> so how far along are you? Uh, I'm 35 weeks pregnant. And everything's been going well? It has been so far, yeah. And you do Pilates. How are you enjoying your Pilates while you're pregnant? Uh, I'm loving doing Pilates while I'm pregnant. I've been able to do it all throughout my pregnancy. And how long have you been doing Pilates for? Uh, just over four years. And what were your reasons for starting? Uh, I started Pilates because I have a dancing background and um, I wanted something to keep up my flexibility and my um, core strength. And what are the differences that you're finding now when you're doing your exercises? Um, yes, yeah, so I've had to make a few, few adaptions to some of the exercises and um, I find that I get a little bit more, more tired throughout um, the exercises as well. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if we show some exercises and the different adaptions that you can make to them um, so that everyone can see just how well or how adaptable Pilates can be for you. Okay, so the first exercise that I'm going to show you is a C-curve. You can adapt, well, a normal C-curve is to just tuck the tailbone under, scooping the belly button back and trying to arch through the lower back and then sitting up nice and tall. So when you're pregnant... It's a little bit harder on the hips and the lower back to do C curves on the floor. So the adaption would be to do it sitting on the fit ball like Alicia is. So when Alicia does them on the ball, you can see that she has a different angle through her hips, which allows her less pressure into the hips and the lower back. She's still able to get that really good pelvic floor lift. Okay, so the next exercise will be curls. So when we do curls on the floor, we can either do it with our feet on the floor or up in tabletop. And you would just bring your belly button down towards the floor, chin into the chest and curl up gently. Of course, when you're pregnant, it's a little bit harder on the back to be lying flat down, especially in the later stages of pregnancy. So when you're doing the curls on the ball, you can see you're sitting up, you're lifting out of your hips. She's still getting the curl where she's pulling back through the centre. But at the same time, she's able to get a curl through the lower back as well. She tucks the tailbone under. So the back is trying to arch. The abs are still getting a bit of a workout as well. And if you wanted to do these as obliques, you can always twist, bringing the upper body across and working down through the obliques, the sides of the abs as well. That's it. And the last exercise I'm going to show you are toe taps. So when you do toe taps on the floor, you have your legs in tabletop and you tap one foot at a time down at the same time, pulling the belly button into the floor, not allowing your back to try and lift away. And of course, like I said before, when you're pregnant, lying on your back can cause some issues. So it's a lot easier to do this one in a seated position as well. So when you're doing toe tapping, when you're this far into your pregnancy, using the, bat, the ball to support your back and lifting the legs. It's working through the legs. It's still working into those lower abdominals and keeping, keeping the core muscles strong. So you just have that little bit more protection using the fit ball at the back. So you can see that Pilates allows for all these little adaptions to make sure that you can do Pilates and do exercise no matter what your fitness ability is. So even if you are 35 weeks pregnant, you can still keep working out as long as you're feeling comfortable. So how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I would um, highly recommend it for before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and I'm also looking forward to um, how it will make me feel after pregnancy as well.